Thanks. <laughs> I can't even see you. I don't know who it is. <laughs> All right, everybody ready for that? We'll go ahead and open it up for questions for Dean. Let me make sure I uh, for both of you guys, a win like this against a Power 5 team, uh, what does that mean for the program and the school, especially at the start of a week like this where there's so many events here at Bill? Uh, you know, it's always a big win when you get over a Power 5 school, but coming into this game, we wasn't really kind of paying attention to the name across their chest. We were just kind of focusing on us and focusing on what we need to do to get better and win this basketball game. Uh, yeah, I, I have to agree with it. And then, uh, like you said, it's a, a good start uh, for all the events that's coming up, you know, uh, and diddle uh, this week. So I think we got out to a good start, and hopefully volleyball can, you know, keep it rolling. How important was it to pick up a home win because you guys are going to be going on the road for quite a long time now? You know, love you you know, it's always good to win at home. You know, we're kind of exp good team, great teams win at home. So, you know, that's what we're trying to be is a great team this year. And this win kind of gives us some momentum going into our road trips. We've got some tough games on the road. So we're just trying to carry this play over and just improve and get better and better each and every day. Oklahoma comes in averaging nearly 82 points per game. Uh, you hold them to 63. What's the biggest key in that? Uh, today, uh, basically just focusing on, on number 30. She was the number one sh uh, three-point shooter in the nation. Uh, she can she can let it go. So that was our focus. And I think the first half, we really keyed on her uh, really well. She didn't uh, make any threes, I don't think. So I think that gave us a little boost. And in, in the second half, we tried to do the same thing. You guys forced 31 turnovers tonight. Um, you know coming in, they're going to be a fast-paced team. How much did you feel like you were going to be able to take advantage of that? Uh, you know, coming into the game, our focus for every game is just defense, defense, defense. You know, if Coach Collins lets us work on offense and practice, we're really surprised. You know, so we really focus on defense. So we came in this game just letting our defense lead our offense, and we did a good job of pressuring the ball, and that pressure lead to bad passes, and we were able to kind of jump those passing lanes and get some steals. Uh, there was a play with about four minutes left. They were inbounding it um, under their basket. You guys came away with a steal, and you had the end one at the other end. Uh, what, was, what did you see on that play that kind of led to that and kind of closed the door for them? Um, I know on that play, they kind of ran it a couple of times, so I kind of knew they were going to lob it over the top, and I was able to get my hand on it. D was able to pick it up, and we just kind of took off and were off to the races. First quarter, it was kind of a, a slower start. Was there like a little bit of a feeling out period, or what was the difference from the start of the second quarter on? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I feel like we just, you know, we didn't have like a lot of energy the first quarter. But I thought uh, once we felt the, the game out and uh, knew what we had to do, I think from the rest of the game on, we, we got it together. How important was that start to the, the second half, 9-0 run to start, and then you had to score them 25 to 15? What was kind of the discussion like in the locker room there to, that led to that? You know, it's very important to get off to a quick start. I think the past couple of games, games we've got to a bad start in the second half. So, you know, Coach Collins just really harped on us to be tough, be tougher, box out and rebound. That's the biggest thing he talked to us was rebounding. And when we were on that 9-0 run, he said they didn't get one offensive rebound. So I think that was the big key was we were able to box out and get some boards, and that led us to transition to easy buckets. When Renee went down late for both of you guys, what was the message from Coach Collins to try to keep calm you guys down and focus you on make sure you could finish that game out with Dr. on the floor? I thought the message is still the same. You know, we know Skin, when she comes in, she, she's going to get a rebound. So I just told Skin, you know, you got to be tough and, you know, finish the game out. Anything else, translators? All right, thank you.